Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Epic Tavern. It's a it's a tavern management sim, sort of with RPG elements. I'm not entirely sure. It looks neat though. I uh, yeah, sure, we're gonna do that one. Enter the tavern name. Uh, jeez, I'm terrible at naming things. I'm terrible at naming things. What do we want to call this place? I want it. I mean, let's go. Let's go with the oldie, the goodie, the fish. Open tavern. I have no idea what to expect with this. I, I've been looking at the screenshots for this game, and it just looks confusing. And I think it's going to be one of those where this is going to have a bit of a steep learning curve, or no learning curve at all. We'll see. Long ago, the land of Beor was nearly annihilated by a horde, horde of netherkin invading through the Flaming Gate. Villagers, villages were trampled to dust and Beor burned. After a grueling war, the netherkin were defeated and the Flaming Gate was sealed. For 1400 years, the seal held. 1414 AN. On. Huh? One last toast to the Ravenger 4. Okay. <laughs> you know, I hate that name, Merrick. You and Lycia, Lycatia, are the only Rav Ravengers. That makes us sound like we're all... Huh? I didn't pick it, Blaze. People just started calling us that. Hmm. Is that how you remember it? You've spent the better ha part of a year trying to get that name to stick. Mm -hmm. Bottoms up, kids. If Ignatius is to be believed, the Flaming Gate won't hold much longer. Of all your half-assed plans, this is maybe oh. the worst. You have a better idea? Can't say that I do. Oh, this is a chick. Whatever, I don't care. There's too much dialogue for me to use exact voices. Uh, but it doesn't make yours sound any less awful. Oh. Take Thorgren and ready the horses. Like, Keisha and I will be out momentarily. Oh. You have the letter? Right here. We're abandoning our child we're abandoning our child, Merrick. Oh. We're doing what has to be done. Besides, we've survived worse than this. Okay, not really. But if you die first, I'll raise you as a banshee or something. Oh. A banshee? At least like make me a vampire. I look amazing with fangs. Huh? Oh. Deal. Are you ready, my dear? No. But that's not apt to change. Let's go. Okay. I'm really confused as what's going what's going on here. One way trip, level twelve, flaming gate, provisioning. Provisioning cost 300 gold, 360 gold, 80 rep. For the first time in 1400 years, the Flaming Gate has been breached and a horde of Netherkin are pouring into the realm. Fight your way to the Nethercap Mountains and use the artifact provided by Ignatius Mordred to seal the gate before the world is lost. I thought this was an epic tavern. I, I guess they're all going? Okay, so this kind of desperately needs a tutorial. Holy shit, this user interface is dense and confusing. So, roster. Okay, so we fill the party. Party power versus quest. Skill, combat, contribution. I, we're kind of figuring it out. Quest pending one. Total cost 360. There's my coffers. I assume none of these are accessible to me right now. Last call in 50 AP. Level 3 rumored. Have, yeah, I don't know any of these things. The chance of success on this quest. Huh. Sure, go forth. Good luck. With one final look at their longtime haunt, the Ravenger 4 stepped out into the streets where screams of terror echo all around. With, uh, Lycatia scans the scene outside the tavern, where packs of netherkin, their skin the color of ash, wreak havoc on in all directions. We'll help who we can along the way, but reaching the gate is our top priority, she says. So long as that's open, battles out here mean nothing. Mount up. We ride for the nether caps. A giant netherkin is wreaking havoc in the merchant row, hurling entire carts around while smaller nether creatures bounce on the fleeing vendors. Lacatia throws a quick look at Merrick, who sighs. Be quick, take out the big one, and we'll... I'll use him to kill the rest. Roll. Failure. Okay, so... Merrick uses combat. Disastrous performance. Minus 18 effort. 
Okay. Blaze and Thorgood and land simultaneous blows on the Netherkin giant's knees, destroying both and sending it crashing to the ground. Once killed, Merrick raises it, but the crippled creature is too slow moving to be of much help. Merchant Row is destroyed. Oh, but we got money for that. I see how this kind of works. Dear gods, how many of these things are there? Thorgrim grunts, trampling a small netherkin with his pony. Lakeisha takes a quick look around. All of them, I think. Three battered soldiers defending a large medical tent are pounced and torn apart by a pack of wolf-like netherkin. Over here, Blaze yells to draw the creatures away from the tent. The largest of them snarls at her, revealing a nightmarish jaw of jagged teeth. Maw of jagged teeth. Uh-oh, the assassin says, unsheathing her katana. Failure. The heroes rush into the infirmary to find it overrun by netherkin. Lycasia and Blaze wreak havoc with bow and blade, while Merrick and Thorgrin escort the wounded to a more defensible building, but nearly half are lost in the melee. The heroes continue on. Man, these guys are garbage. Then again, it kind of looks like the situation was doomed to begin with. Blaze, let's go. Merrick yells as the assassin cuts down a pair of netherkin that pursue a young child. Blaze leaps back in her saddle and rushes to catch up. Guards flee from the local prison as netherkin rush in. Those prisoners are caged, unarmed, and defenseless, Blaze says, kicking her horse into a gallop. We can't leave them. Roll. Success! Blaze locates a key ring and opens all the cells. Plus the armory. The newly armed prisoners, led by the infamous assassin Carver, drive back the Netherkin horde. I regret this already, Lycasia says as they ride away. So Blaze gains lightly wounded, got a dire yak kebab, and more gold. There's no, like, stat screen, and it looks like uh, we can only have parties of four for the time being. Screams echo from all around as the heroes ride through the carnage, aiding where they can. Gods protect us, Thorgrin mutters. In the bell tower of a nearby church, a priest and four villagers make their final stand. The netherkin scurry up the side of the building after them, and others pour in through the shattered front door. Failure. The heroes... What is that symbol? I have no idea. The heroes rush into the church, but by the time they fight their way to the tower, the priest and all but two villagers are dead. They escort the shell-shocked survivors to the safety of a nearby inn and continue on their way. So everybody's lightly wounded. Unfortunately, there's no, like... There's no actual status for the characters. We have no idea if that actually even matters. Every second we spend out here fighting, more of those things are pouring out of the gate. Keep moving. A ragged group of Stone Maw Clan orcs, several of their number laying dead around them, fight shoulder to shoulder, defending the entrance to a crossroads inn from a pack of wolf-like netherkin. Blaze kicks her horse into a gallop and rushes to reinforce them. Success. Blaze leans down from her saddle, dissecting a two-headed wolf, with her katana as she passes. Reinvigorated by the new allies, the orcs rush forward, chopping down the rest of the beasts. Merrick reanimates their corpses with a wave of his hand and commands them to obey the orcs. Good doggies. They're still pouring out of the tunnels, Blaze says, looking down at the entrance. To the nethercap cave system from the rocky overhang. But I know another way. Watch your step. It's a bit, um, tricky. The idea of this is cool, but I almost wish I wasn't seeing this. I just saw the ending at the very end. Like, I send them out and then I hear about it after the fact. Oh well. You cannot be serious, Thorgrin says, looking at the narrow ledge with an 80-foot drop to the rocks below. Blaze chuckles. Trust me, when have I ever steered you wrong? That was rhetorical, she says, raising a finger to ward off the dwarves' long string of examples. Failure. Blaze casually skips across the narrow ledge, followed by Merrick and Lycasia. Thorgrin gulps nervously and starts across. His protruding belly it makes it impossible to stay flush against the wall, and he loses his balance. Only Lycasia's lightning reflexes save him before he topples into the ravine. Oh, yeah, lightly wounded hurts their performance a lot. Outside the back entrance to the Nethercap cave system, Merrick addresses his companions. You've done enough by getting me here. If you want to leave now, I swear I'll not hold it against you. Blaze chuckles. And let you get all the glory? Sorry, old man. We're in this together. The Ravenger 4 step through the cave entrance and immediately spot its guardian, a nightmare spider-like netherkin scuttling towards them on eight human arms. The heroes ready their weapons and fan out around it. 
failure. The spider can leaps at Blaze with incredible agility for a creature of its size. The assassin tries to roll underneath it, but is blasted with heavy webbing. The heroes ran, rain down blows on the arachnid monstrosity, but it bites Blaze's head clean in half before succumbing to its wounds. Lycasia, Merrick, and Thorgrin flee from a large pack of mutant wolves, moving deeper into the tunnels. A long, straight, pa straight passage, passage, passageway opens up into a large chamber far ahead. They make a run for it. Success. Hold on. Blaze is dead. Why does Blaze use mind while lightly wounded? And contributed as a dead person. Still reeling over the loss of Blaze, Thorgan nearly stumbles into a pit trap. Here, Merrick yells, and they turn to confront their pursuers. The trap does most of the hard work, and the three heroes mop up what's left. A gargantuan two-headed netherkin stands guard at an arced doorway on the far side of the chamber. A bright blue light flickers over the passage walls behind him. The flaming gate lies beyond, Thorgrin says with steely determination. How is Blaze still fighting? While Acacia unleashes a furious volley of arrows, Merrick animates a few nearby netherkin that were killed by their brethren and runs them in circles around the beast to distract it. An arrow finds its home in the giant's left eye socket and topples dead to the ground. Merrick puts a hand on Lycasia's shoulder. She snaps. If you try to give me some big speech about why you need to do this alone, I will murder you myself. Merrick chuckles softly in the embrace before turning towards the arcway. Beyond the arcway, the adventurers see an enormous gate rippling with nether energy. Before it stands the form of a young girl bathed in crackling blue flames. Lycasia laces up the enruined boots they received from the artifact collector Ignatius Mordred. I hope these things work, she says. Impressive, the young girl speaks directly into their minds while playing with a ball of crackling blue energy. Join me and I'll let you live. Lycasia shakes her head and taps the heels of her boots together, emitting a low hum. Appreciate the invite, kid, but we had something else in mind. Alicia gestures and a rippling wave of blue energy envelops Merrick and seeps into him. The necromancer collapses on the ground, sobbing. Lycasia steps in front of him and slams one of her boots of quaking into the ground. A massive earthquake brings the mountain down on top of them. And so the Ravenger 4 called the mountain down upon Elysia and her Netherkin, ho Netherkin horde, ending the Battle of Mountainfall once again sealing the flaming get gate. Lycasia and Merrick Ravenger, Thornborn and Blaze Evershadow, made the bards sing of their heroism unto eternity. Why was that fast? Well, they're all dead. Do we get the money? No, we don't get any loot. <laughs> we do get dire yak kebabs. Or maybe we do. Well... I will be taking all that money. <laughs> I mean, they're dead, right? I don't know how I got the loot, but that's okay. So 10 years later, 1424 AN. A new tavern opens its doors today. This is the story of the fish! Monday, week one. Tavern gained a level. Level one, gained two roster slots. Expand and improve the rundown tavern your parents left you. Protect the realms of Bior by cultivating great heroes. Okay, patron has info on a potentially lucrative quest. Click on him to find more. Two roster slots. Income is increased by 40 gold. Okay, well, I want to take a look if there's anything else. So this is the tutorial. We just had, like, kind of a lengthy huh? prologue there. An interesting job here. Tell me more. Oh, boy. The tavern has... An unfinished basement, which could be converted into a wine cellar, to require the extermination of the ill-tempered rats that currently have the run of the place. But it surely, surely there's an adventure or two who would be up to the task, so we can stomp or kill them. So or with poison. Well, let's go with this because it looks like the rewards are better. Might as well get in a bit of target practice before heading out on more dangerous quests. Kill the rats in the old-fashioned way, with an excessive display of violence. Okay, anything else? Now that you have a quest, click on this heroic-looking fellow and huh? get to know him. I'm all kinds of thirsty. Welcome! Okay, you've made a new friend who's willing to adventure for you. Click to add him to the roster. 
so we can see his stats. I'll hire him. Looks like we have AP, which is how many things we can do in a given day. Oh, that's fine. And we have another one. Hardy Fellow is the first step towards a long and prosperous relationship, so welcome them. And Flame Tongue. Oh, Mind. Most effective when facing Mind Encounters. Next highest skill class. I don't entirely know. This is a Fire Mage, then. Okay, success. You've got your first quest on a full roster. Click here to go to the map. The rats ain't gonna kill themselves. Might have to turn off the sound effects, though. The, uh, the clinking of dishes is gonna get kind of annoying. So we'll add Grunson and Murgle. So it costs 30 to send them out. Party preparedness. Bleh. And it's a 50% chance of clearing out the rats in the dungeon. That's worrying. So we're gonna clear out some rats from the cellar. Kind of exciting to engage in something so stereotypical, Murgle says, rubbing his hands together. Oh, her hands together. An angry chittering an angry chittering greets the intruders as the pack of rats rushes to attack. No one saw that, right? Murgle says, as she retreats from the snarling horde of rats. The road weary travelers round a corner and see the fish up ahead. Thank the gods, Murgle says. Be warned, anyone who gets between me and my bed is apt to get hurt. Stomp. Epic moment. Failure. Well, they get experience. And gold. They couldn't... The rat scared the shit out of them. Okay, continue to tavern. I... Ha. Huh. Okay, so rooms booked, memory shared, friendship gained, reputation gained, travel log. There's... There's a lot of coming soon here. Well, is that it? Have we just have we just learned what we need to learn? So tavern summary. So we still have the active quest. Uh, we have a roster equipment. So I can equip these guys with stuff. Goods and lodging. Oh, geez, there's more here. So we can sell mead, wine. Uh, so we have stock versus. Okay, vacant, occupied. Okay, so there's an upgrade menu. We can upgrade lodging, maybe? Maybe I have to select one? No, I have no idea how to do it. There is a lot of coming soon here, which is scary. Okay, so infirmary. We gotta complete random quests. Expansions. Oh, that's what we were looking at. Facilities, services... Oh, we can get a kitchen. Unlocked by completing the quest with a name. Oh, so we already have a kitchen. Uh, we need to get the next one. So decor, repairs, uh, tavern summary. So l luckily this does look like it's a, a time-based thing. Okay, well, what do we got? A bit noisy in here tonight. It's always like this. A level 2 something or other. Level 2 acrobat. Hmm. So we have Grunson. The memories we have working together are crazy. No, they weren't giant rats, just regular old rats. Still whooped us. Let's try reminiscing over a drink. Oh, increase friendship to higher adventures and unlo unlock secrets. Offer some conversation. Listen, I grew up in the Badlands and I'm happy to be gone from there. Anything else? Having a bit of a rough uh, year. Offer drink. Okay, well, he likes house wine. I can serve menu item. That's interesting. So each character has a menu of sorts. Well, let's use all of our AP to learn who these characters are first. Okay, so the roster is full. Yep, I'm going to waste all of my AP learning these guys first. Now, we have the thief, acrobat, scout, fire mage... What are acrobats? Mead. Now, do I lose money when I sell this, or do I gain it? Looks like I gain it. Okay. So he's got that. So we might as well serve everybody. Uh, looks like just doing half of these. Gains us money, but costs us AP. Okay, do we just send out the uh, the Barbarian and the Fire Mage? How do I even level them up? That's the other thing, because this is friendship. 
But how do we actually like view their details and roster? Personal story, personal story, personal story. Oh geez, that goes for a while. Nothing equipped. Oh boy. Back to character sheet. So friendship, higher. So friendship is max, so that's something that we just get. So it'd be a good idea to probably find a healer at some point for these guys, maybe? It's hard to exactly say how any of this is going to work. Well, it looks like we're getting money regardless. So I can just, I can fulfill needs. Well, let's listen to, uh, Murgle. Quick chat. Anything else? Mug of mead. Okay. Don't have much AP left. Okay, so what do we got? Can I can I do a quest now that I'm almost out of AP? Or are we out of or are we out of time for the day? Alright, so join party. These two. Quest pending, total cost. Doesn't look like it cost me any AP. So let's see if these two guys can go out and do a uh, stomp again. I got enough money for it. Okay, so it's the same thing. And they succeed this time. They defeat the rodents, which is literally the least that could be expected. Interesting that the uh, that it glitches out uh, when the text is rolling in sometimes. Okay, and it's the same stuff. So we don't care too much. I don't know if I'm going to read every quest dialogue just because it gets a little bit meh. Uh, but they finished the quest. Did they level up? I have no idea. Okay. Oh, Tavern is getting a level. Level 2. One roster slot. Income has increased by 40 gold. Okay, you've successfully guided a group of adventurers to victory. So, Tavern rep reputation, gold, income. Oh, I see. So, every time we do a quest, that's a new day. Well, that's fine. So, gross income, expenses, money. Gotcha. What were expenses? I'm curious. Maybe it was the share of loot that got tacked on? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, whatever, I'll figure it out later. I made money. So, we did lose some people there. Okay, we got a quest. Come back with my wine, level one. The house wine is running a bit low. Feldspar Square has an infamous and remarkably cheap wine shop. Probably because no one can ever find it. The shop springs up out of nowhere every day and will never be in the same spot. Luckily, a patron thinks he knows where it will be today. Okay. We got a Dwarven Paladin. Dwarven Paladin might not be a bad idea. Skills, traits. He does have first aid, though I'm not entirely sure if that works necessarily. Yeah, so it looks like uh, Send Adventures on Quest to develop their history. So, it does look like... Uh, Spending time with these guys will develop them, which is kind of a neat, neat effect. Well, let's go with that. I guess let's get to know everybody. Welcome, Diviner for Hire, House Wine. Huh? Yeah, so we want to use up all of our AP before I do anything. Well, we got a knight by accident, but that's okay. Huh? I don't mind having a knight. Huh? Let's see. It's a fire mage. Might as well serve everything. Do all of our AP. Okay, some of the adventures I've I've been on have changed the way I think. No, okay, it's the same stuff. Reminisce over a drink. Listen, I've always been a skilled tracker and outdoorsman. There's nothing quite like the thrill of the hunt. Bit noisy. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna fill needs, seeing as we've got huh? limited AP. Huh? Huh? Though, interestingly enough, it looks like the rooms are, yeah, just automatically vacant, because the game isn't done yet. Well, I'll offer everybody a... I'll offer everybody a room for the night. I don't think I have anybody else I can work with right now. Yeah, no rumors, no nothing. Uh, but I do have three characters, so we have a quest. Come back with my wine. Uh, let's do equipment. Can I get anything new? We have... Chester has a mall. I'm so confused by this UI. So 
So I'm assuming Chester Chester has them all equipped. I wonder how we get uh weapons. No idea. Well, we can't get the rest of these, so we might as well just keep keep doing quests. We got three characters now and we'll just keep going until we find more stuff. So this is skill class. Well, I don't really have much of a choice. 45% chance of succeed, succeed. So this is a mind quest and I do not have mind people. Well, life. Okay, try not to burn down the place while we're gone. Chester says as they exit the tavern. Yeah, the whole walking thing is kind of dumb. A high stone wall with a lock gate blocks the party's way. After minutes of ex effort, Grunson picks the gate's lock. Yeah, hopefully we can get a larger roster so I can actually have some people I can swi uh, switch between. As night creeps in, Grunson senses it will be much colder than anticipated. Grunson collects firewood and sets up camp for the night. Dinner is enjoyed without incident. Are these guys just completely useless? The party stops in Milson to pull out Murgle's map. The patron marked a few potential locations where Feldspar Square may be setting up shop today. This will take advantage of my clever explora exploration skills, says Murgle. Murgle points to the mark near Gorn Fleshcleaver's butcher shop. Sure enough, Feldspar Square has magically appeared in the end of the street. Disheveled snobs swirl drinks outside the entrance as the heroes head in to pick up the wine shipment. Is that it? Oh, a man in the market offers to read Murgle's fortune. This is probably a scam, Murgle says. I knew you'd say that, the fortune teller replies. How do we get gold from that? I'm not sure. Just as the fish comes into view, the clouds open up in a full downpour. The heroes sprint to the final blocks to home. Whew, we timed that one right, Murgle says. Alright, and we get it. So we get wine. We also get an oversized gavel and some other stuff. Okay, I'm warming up to this a little bit. It was a it was a bit clunky at first, but this is getting a bit better. So obviously we gotta we gotta level this up. I feel like the meters aren't even busted. This is really I mean they have all the features that the game needs, but this is kind of surprisingly incom incomplete. Now we haven't gotten any new equipment yet, huh? which is annoying. Okay, tell me more. B y o r. A food vendor across the street scared a rat into his cooking fire and roasted the poor thing alive. Perhaps out of insanity or desperation, he gave it a nibble. Turns out rat doesn't taste that bad. The flyers circulate, claiming, Bring your own rat, get first grilled free. Bit of a rough year. Let's see. Long and non-fatal relationship. My name is Dean. Mugamead. Okay. I might as well just... Give everybody what they need. Okay, so we do have somebody for hire, but I do not have, uh... I do not have space. And when do these guys level up? Probably not for a little while. Listen. To killing those rats, I feel ready to take on the world, or at least incrementally larger groups of rats. Quick listen. Memories, am I right? Despite what that nosy do-gooder catchers would have you believe, I'm perfectly respectable by mage standards. Okay. I'm just gonna keep offering beds to people. Huh? I was thinking about the other day. You think that teleporting wine merchant was weird? I used to hang out at a bar built on the back of a giant turtle. And he wants house wine. Okay. Huh? It looks like we're making plenty of money, sort of. Huh? I just wish this was maybe a bit more complete. Hmm. Kick, oh, can't kick patron. Oh, all the rooms are filled up for the night. And apparently, wealth extravagant, fancy room. So it looks like uh, these things are incomplete, but they've at least made it a little bit easier. Okay, so we still can't get anybody huh? new. Huh? I guess I might as well greet everybody. Because I've got a whole lot of new people rolling through. I wonder how many are going to be new, and how many are going to be repetitive. Uh, let's see, so collapse, expand. Oh, okay, that's actually really helpful. Mm -hmm. So, by looking at this, we can see what everybody's skill levels are. It'd be really nice if we could actually pull up, like, an easy roster. 
Because who's my current roster? Yeah, Combat Social Survival. Combat Social Mind. Yeah, see, Grunson is the kind of person we're looking for. I don't know if they get better at these skills or not. Unfor oh, we have an oversized gavel, which gives bonus to public speaking. Well, I think we could give it to Chester, but he's already got the mall. Okay, we'll give him the over oversized gavel, which I almost sold, but that will boost his public speaking at the very least. Okay, well, we got a, one last quest to do, I think, and then we'll en end this episode off. So bring your own rat. Social skills. These guys are kind of bad at it. But I don't really have a choice. Worst comes to worst, they fail. Too late to back out? Chester asks sheepishly. Yep, Murgle says, hurrying him along. Yeah, so eventually I want to get a party with well-rounded social stats, but decent combat. No, it isn't, Murgle screams. Yes, Grun Grunson screams back. Failure. No, it isn't, Murgle tackles Grunson to the ground. They squabble for some time, rolling around in the dirt. They are both demoralized now. That's not a good sign. The party enters a village in the middle of a celebration. The party is greeted with cheers and claps on the back. The heroes continue on their way and smiles on their faces and food in their stomachs. The line of hungry folks stretches nearly two blocks. A frazzled chef is roasting rodents at a breakneck pace, trying to keep up. A makeshift sign in front of his cart says, Quan Dooley, modern taste expert. While well in line, Chester gets to chatting with an enormous arc barbarian named Grusilla Marrowsucker. Adventure is based out of a tavern. I didn't even know that was a thing, she says. Maybe I'll stop by sometime and check this place out. I'm just really curious why we need to see these things. Murgle aggressively parades the elven knights. I suppose you... To you, all humans look alike, don't they? How would you like to be treated that way? This person is a thoroughly good person, aside from having just arrived in Bior from far abroad. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Murgle and Grunson watched the chastised knights ride off. Yeah, it was me, says the barbarian. I figured. What? What? Before Murgle can interject, Grunson takes off running. The confused knights are about to give chase when Murgle says, Fellas, fellas, perhaps we can come to some accommodation. It's a few hours before Grunson emerges hiding from hiding, and the heroes continue on their way. A substantial amount of gold pour. See? We went the whole trip without anything horrible happening, Chester says. He was promptly kicked in the head by a horse. When he eventually awakens, the knight has no memory of the incident. I... Okay. Well, they're demoralized. Chester is heavily wounded. Might have to figure out how to retire him temporarily. Or something? I understand none of what just happened there. Well, one more quest and I think we actually, uh... I think we're good to go. Oh, it's Grusilla Marrowsucker, the level one barbarian. Oh. Met your friends over barbecued rat. I'm in the mood for something. House wine. Huh? Okay, we have a, a human druid. Huh? Listen to Chester. Yeah, debuffs. Heavily wounded for eight days. Questing has taken a toll on this adventure. Okay. Oh, the tavern's gained a level. We gained a roster slot. Income has increased by 40. Okay. So, if I dismiss him... If you change your mind, speak with them, and perhaps they'll return. That's interesting and problematic. Y you'd think... Oh, wait. Place our older story item one. Okay, so I can rehire him. Uh, if I want to. That's good to know. Oh, hello. We've got a quest. However, you know what? This is actually a good stopping point. So this game's a little awkward. I like the idea of it. It's got some really neat, neat uh, bits here. Oh, they don't match their portraits. Oh, yeah, they do. There's Brugra. Um, 
but this is a really neat game. It's interesting. It's not quite what I expected. I thought it was going to be much more about the tavern management, but it's more about picking the right adventures to go on the quest. And I almost wish it was one of those where I just put up the quest and then the adventures would go automatically do it and then tell me how things went after the fact. Or something. Because uh, instead this is almost less about the tavern at all. And I was hoping it would be more about the tavern. I don't know. I, it'll it'll take some uh, getting used to, but it's not a bad game, just confusing. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all I can say. It'll, it'll take a while before I'm used to it, and obviously we've got quite a lot of like uh, missing features, incomplete stuff, and so on and so forth. So this is very much early access. So I wouldn't fully uh, judge this game by its cover, but also... Would wait, wait, why is... Oh wait, no, Murgle. Murgle is uh, demoralized for a day. Oh, jeez. This guy has mine for days. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I might dismiss the whole team and pick some actually decent people as opposed to iffy people. Because, yeah, I could just send Ramsey on things and he'd solve all mind puzzles for me. Maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, so I'm probably gonna keep playing this. It's interesting. I, I guess it really depends on you guys. If you want me to keep playing this, let me know in the comments below. And if not, then I'll just move on to uh, other new games because we've always got tons of new ones to try out. So, I guess with this, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, of course, let me know. And uh, leave a like, because it helps more than you know. And I guess uh, if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm probably going to at least do a couple more episodes. We'll see if I can get a bit deeper. I'd like to start upgrading the end and doing some other things, but uh, I don't know when I can actually do that. Because it looks like unlocked by completing quest not found. And yeah, we need the blacksmith, so we can actually start getting some uh, gear. But, well, that's off for a while. Unless it, these aren't in the game at all either. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I guess with this, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Epic Tavern. And as always, thanks for watching.